Question three asks us about sampling again. Well, Aleri um, is just going to be pretty lazy here. She's just going to take the first five days of the month. And so the sampling method that she's using is laziness sample. No, I'm sorry, opportunity. Opportunity, or the other word for that is convenience. Um, convenience sampling. It's just taking the, uh, the simplest thing you can get, not the greatest sampling method. So a better sampling method might be just to do a simple random sample. And again, we can look back at the uh, book to see what the uh, reasons, the good things about this. The good things about this is that every day equally likely to be in sample. The negative about that is just, well, you might happen to pick five random numbers. Um, they might just happen to all be in the first day of the week again. So it might not spread throughout month. That's the bad thing about doing a systematic, uh, a, a, a random sample. Maybe slightly better might be a systematic one. Um, a systematic one. Uh, the positive about that is would be the opposite of that. They would be spread through month. For example, taking the first Monday. Um, and so we get a, a representative sample of the whole of June. The minus for this, because of our data set, there might be missing data. Uh, and so you might accidentally get one of those days where the, the, um, where the uh, machines weren't working. And so that you've actually got a, uh, a problem with that one there. Um, the data here, well, the data here, is it discrete or continuous? So is it a measurement? We're measuring sunshine. So uh, if we're measuring it, it, it is continuous. Uh, it might be 12 hours, but it might be 12 hours and one minute, or it might be 12 hours, one minute and one second. How far do you want to go? So it's a continuous piece of data because um, it's a measurement.